Hi, this is Mart, and you are watching Mart's TV Reviews. Today I'm going to talk about the TV show Heartbreak High. It's an Australian TV show you probably never heard about, but it's better than Home and Away and Neighbours put together. Set in Hartley High School in inner city Sydney. We all grew up with Australian television, TV dramas, the TV shows. A lot of us with even Home and Away and some of us with Neighbours before that. And you had neighbors home and away, and then a show that came about. A friend of mine used to watch in his house. They'd be telling us about it, and different characters on the show, like Con Bordino and Nick and Rivers and Bolton, all these characters. And we'd never seen the show before. And we went up to his house and I just watched it. I was I was just blown away by the show. I just thought it was a just um, I just like the style of the show and it was gritty and it talked about everyday life and how they show different ethnic groups cultures backgrounds how they all mix together and how you know the the differences and the similarities and it was just a different show to home and away home, home and away was kind of set up in palm beach in north sydney and kind of a country out in the countryside where you had your neighbors in melbourne which was a kind of a suburban show a funny anecdote um a cousin used to have neighbors the tv show in his in his home and he asked my mother one day D do we have neighbors and he's talking about the tv show but my mother thought he said yeah of course of course we have neighbors you know what i mean but he they said no the neighbors the tv show I said no no it was on bbc one or something i think at the time and i used to watch neighbors and my cousins as well at least uh, about half one i think in the summer times is see all the beautiful blonde girls anyway um heartbreak high just what grabs you from the start just the kind of intro the kind of rock punk rock theme song you know and it it, it goes Gannon television presents so Gannon's a kind of Irish surname I presume and the, the producers Ben Gannon and Michael Jenkins and the show used to be on Bravo when I had a kind of cable TV when we got the cable in and yeah, I, I'm just re-watching the, the series now. They have it up on um, Netflix. I think they got the, the full seasons of Heartbreak High up on Netflix. So I'm just kind of watching, re-watching the first season again. Um, just kind of nostalgia. There's going to be a new Heartbreak High in 2022, which I found amazing. I found, found out the other day. So like in the first series, we had Nick, Christina, who was Miss Milano. Rose, Con, Danielle, Steve, Yola, Rivers, Bolton, Jody, Cheka, Jack, Southgate, Graham, Delarain, Ruby, Irene, George, and Effie. I mean, basically, a Nico who was George in the series, and he was basically the drama coach as well, and he wrote Mad Max. Fury Road a few years ago with George Miller, his fellow Greek Australian. And the story is um, essentially about inner city Sydney, an inner city Sydney high school, and their kind of their life and times, their lives and love lives. And it's showing you a story kind of centers on Nick, who comes from a Greek family, and I think his mother's Italian, Irene, and his father, George, is Greek. He's got a cousin, Corn Con Bordino, who's Italian. And I think his, his mother, Con's mother and Nick's mother are sisters. And it just shows them all hanging out together in the same high school, Hartley High. And you have basically people from different ethnic groups in the school. You know, you got your Greeks, you got your Italians, you got the Yola, who's Lebanese, and... Christina, who's kind of student teacher, the kind of new teacher, she's Miss Milano, she's Italian, and it's kind of great to see at the start one the in in the first season, in episode one, her mother and father just kind of wishing her well, and her father talking to her in Italian as she leaves, her home like, and you can see she's probably second generation Italian. The stories are very um, it's very kind of raw and gritty kind of series, but it shows um. You know, students of inner city Sydney, like, and they kind of dress what which way they want, and there is some kind of American kind of culture you can see in the background. 
but it shows their daily lives and how they deal with with their teachers their, their teaching of them and it's it's kind of great in, in the sense that it stays away from stereotypes you know it's not it, they show danielle like, like she wants to play soccer and you know she wants to be a goalkeeper and i, I like that uh, to see that and yeah it just shows them hanging out together and going to school and just dealing with life situations it's kind of centered on the first four or five episodes on nick and jody she's kind of a singer and then they're kind of rapping it's kind of the age of rap in 1994 rap hip-hop and there's they're kind of fighting for their rights in school as well and she kind of inspires them to stand up for themselves a lot of them just kind of see school as a drag you see and but there's some there's a great episode early on, I think it's season one, episode four, where Rivers gets in trouble. And uh, Southgate, who's kind of a tough guy, a teacher, science teacher, and he kind of uh, lays down the law, discipline in school as well. He kind of bails Rivers out of it. He helps him kind of, because Rivers might want to be a mechanic in the army. He just want to get in trouble on the wrong side of the law. He's trying to keep him on the straight and narrow. Yeah, it's great to see that happening. And Della Rain's kind of like, he's kind of a fair-minded kind of principal, you know, he's kind of more kind of a hippie back in the day. <laughs> like, I enjoyed watching Home and Away. I mean, you know, it, you would see Home and Away, like, it's kind of probably a lot of the English, Scots, Welsh and Irish, you know, in recent times, some Italian names. And they, 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 they brought on um, Leah and Home and Away as well, who was Greek as well. She was in Heartbreak High as well. You know, I think it's in season one, season two, they brought more kind of groups in, but you, you would never see, you see more of the ethnic mix and the cultural um, mix in um, Heartbreak High. It was kind of revolutionary for the time that uh, all the different ethnic groups were shown on screen. You know, how they dealt, dealt with their life situations, some coming from all over the world. Yeah, I just like the dynamics of the, of the show and it shows the, the teachers' private lives as well as the students' private lives and their public lives. I just really love the show. I, I don't like, it's hard to explain why you like something, but I, I just like the, the atmosphere. I like the, the, the punk rock kind of music at the start, the imagery, and just, just the gritty feel of the show and how they are together. Just, just hanging out and just um, how they deal with situations and kind of help each other out, yeah, no matter what's going on. And the big thing at the time as well, like, like soccer is the answer to everything. Like, let's play soccer, you know. And some of the lads, Rick Rivers and Bolt and all them, they'd be more into kind of Australian football. They, they wouldn't be mad about soccer now. And they're dealing, like, the kind of two kind of alpha males in the group would be kind of Nick and Rivers. They'd be kind of in charge of kind of leaders of kind of two different types of groups. But in the end, they kind of get along. There's, there's a lovely scene in... I think episode four or five um, in season one, Rivers playing Shaka. Basically, they're both very good at pool and they're good pool players and they play each other and they kind of just um, started liking each other. Then there's things in common, you know, beyond differences, they have similarities. And that's nice to see. And uh, yeah, they, they think they start hanging out together as well. I recommend watching Heartbreak High on Netflix. It's definitely a show that... Um, people should watch because they talk about social issues and situations that's always relevant you know and uh, it's it's a very it's a great character study of inner city life it's a great kind of sociological study of it you know how how people get on in groups and as individuals part of families that's the end of march tv reviews for this week you can like this review and subscribe to, by pressing the red button at the right hand side of this video and go on to our YouTube page and you can watch, like and subscribe to the channel and watch more videos from Near Media. Thank you for watching and talk to you next time.